Hey everybody, my new iPhone 13 Pro Max shows up tomorrow and it's been a week of getting accessories in the mail that I want to have so I can use it appropriately. I don't know, that make using it better. So today I'm talking about a new tripod I got and a new phone holder I got from Movo. And there's a bit of a story here. I've already opened these up. I put them back in the box so you can see the whole process. But I'm going to tell you what's good about these things, why I'm going to keep them, and I'm happy with them. But I'm going to tell you how I feel like I got a little bit tricked. And um, But, you know, always getting camera equipment is tough. So uh, we'll just talk about it. So let's start off with this. Movo PR3. PR3. Um, this is a phone holder. What do they call it? A smart grip, which is an odd, right? This is an ironic name considering what's missing from this. Okay, so we open it up. This one came looking a little like it's been used once before, but it's fine. The grip itself looks fine. And this is what it looks like in the box. Uh, there's the grip and we can just pull that right out. And here it is. And what's great about this grip, why I got this, I like the little levels, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing to me is that this grip like does this. So when I'm going from vertical, I can go from vertical to horizontal without having to do some major action. And believe it or not, with other my other grips, that I have, that is somewhat difficult. And we're gonna use this iPhone 6. I'm recording this on an iPhone 10, but we're gonna use this iPhone 6 for this example. What's nice about this is, so I ordered my new iPhone 13, and I don't want it to get hurt. So to unscrew this, you just turn this. Okay, so you leave it like this, and your phone just barely fits in there. But then when you get your phone in there, then you finish tightening it up. What's nice about this is there are rubberized pieces on the top and the bottom, so you're not gonna be clamping your phone. And the problem with the spring-loaded grips is if you have a leather case on your phone, like I always do, those spring-loaded grips will kinda wanna dig into that leather case. And I don't like that when it does that. So this is much, it's much gentler on every phone, but especially those leather cases that are somewhat fragile, those will be much better in here. And then when you need to go into vertical mode, you just do that and it's great, very easy. And then you tighten this back screw and it will, and if you need 45 degree angle mode, like we all do. So here I wanna tell you my disappointment with this guy. I ordered the wireless microphone set from Movo. And the problem was the wireless microphone would give out and when a microphone gives out for a few seconds, that just ruins your footage and there's no getting it back unless you wanna re-record the whole thing. So I sent that whole kit back. In the kit, that came with this exact part, but it also came with a hand grip that went under it. And when I ordered this, I thought this also came with a hand grip, but it didn't. And so, now that's okay. I don't use the hand grip, and if I were to use it, I would just grab the phone. But it was a bit of a disappointment. In fact, I'm just gonna check the bag to make sure I'm not lying to you. There's a hand grip in here. There is not. Um, the one I got, the hand grip was in the foam. So whatever, right? So it's okay. But like Movo's been disappointing me in a number of ways. So like, I think they're a good company, but sometimes Boy, their just product set is a little bit confusing. I keep getting the wrong thing. So there's a problem with this too. This is the MVT1, TI or T1? Durable mini tripod. Now, I like this tripod because its legs don't go out very far and it doesn't take up a ton of room. The tripod I'm using right now to hold this camera is like a standard tripod or has three straight legs going down like this. It takes up a ton of space on the table and this doesn't and it has a nice ball head on it. And I really like that. And so let's open this up, but it's fine. 
There we go. We got stickers. We got silica gel. All the things you want. So here's what this looks like. We have our actual tripod, which is here. That's nice. And this, one thing I like about this, so this is the ball head, it comes off. We're just gonna take this off right now because we don't want it there anyway. So I like this ball head a lot. This is a very good ball head. Like the, a lot of the stuff they make, I really like. So there's this here and you can turn this red thing so that you can choose how wide the feet go out. And so the way it's set now, I'll just show you here. On the way it's set now, these will go like way out like that. But if you move it over by turning this ring, then the feet will only go out this far. Now I'm not quite sure why they have that difference, right? But they do. And as far, I guess one holds it up higher, right? Here, let's choose this method. So this is good. This is nice and small compared to my tripod. The, the space the feet take up is nice and small. We have also this tube. This is the extension tube. Now here's the disappointment. In the one I got with a microphone, this guy extended like one, two, three, like pretty far. This one only extends, and it's kind of hard to do it, this far, like six more inches, and that's it. And that's such a small amount of space that I'm just curious as to why they even bothered, right? Like, I'll just leave it like this, but I'm not sure, yeah. And so I'm also curious as to why they have two different versions of this product, one that goes three out and one that only goes one, and See, that's the type of thing. So we can connect this to this. This is the way this should go. And then you put the ball head on top of that. You can see this now if I do it this way. All right. So this is stable. The ball head, you turn this screw and you can move it all around, but we just want it straight up. And then we attach this guy. I'm gonna take the phone out while I do this. Which is nice, it only takes a couple of turns. You can get the phone out. And, oh, whoops, I'm doing this wrong. There's a couple of screw mounts on there, which is nice. Oh, and the ball head needs to be tightened. Okay, so everything's tight here. Now we got this guy. We can get him like this. Oops, and this goes this way. Now I love this. I want to say nice things about this. I mean, I just got it in the mail. I'm not unhappy with it, right? I love this because this just this is so great. Oh, hold it. Do I have this right? I don't think so. so. Which way is this turn? We'll see. I might have the phone upside down here. Okay. So if I turn this... Oh, no, I got it right. So this is wonderful, right? I really like the way this works. And in spite of the drawbacks of it not going out further, this does all the things I need one of these to do. Because uh, I'm usually just doing this kind of video where I'm sitting at this table, there's a light right there, the camera's right there, obviously. And this is works better than my current system. My current system has basically the same functionality, but the ball head on my current system isn't as good as this one. It doesn't flip the camera like this, and the, it's a spring-mounted one, or a spring grip. And so that rips up my leather case. I mean, it doesn't rip it up, but I haven't... A two-year-old, no, three, God, I have the iPhone 10 is this is being filmed on. The case is old, and so I don't mind that it gets a little roughed up. It's also the um, the natural leather colored one, so it's kind of aged over time. And so a little bit of more damage is actually kind of a good thing with that. But my new case is a green leather case. Those don't age over time, so you got to kind of try to keep them together. And that's, this is going to be used instead of this thing.
The extension of this is probably enough for my uses. So like I said, even though I'm disappointed, these things aren't the exact same things. The fact that it doesn't come with a hand grip, the single hand grip, you know, that's no big deal because I wasn't really going to use that anyway. And the fact that this only goes up this high, I think that's high enough, right? I have other tripods and stuff. So it's not like I'm hurting if I need to, I mean, really how often you get a camera up really high. Here, I'll lift it up, maybe put it back a bit. This is what this looks like. Can I get the whole thing in the frame? Kind of, right? Go way back, go way back. Looks like I'm gonna club someone with my new tripod. I'm not, I'm not gonna club anybody. My monitor's over here, by the way. I'm being very casual in this review, just looking all around, but this is really this type of thing. I've seen a number of people do reviews on these and there's a lot you can say about this stuff, but I kind of like to make videos where if you're another creator, you can kind of relate to the fact that I'm actually using these things and not just doing a review of them. This came with this bag also. And it's just a Ziploc bag, and not Ziploc, uh, Velcro lock. It's got two pockets, one for the extension, one for the tripod. And it's nice to get these things, I think. If I, I would, I would, so let's talk about selfie stick. Now this is where I miss maybe the three set thing. But with the iPhone 13, it's got a nice ultra wide lens on it, so I probably don't need that. So if we put this in selfie stick mode, Let's do that now. Can we put these down? These are, so this is a grip. So I, this works as a grip. So the fact that I don't have that other grip, it doesn't matter so much. Um, and then I should probably show it adjusted this ball head before. If I can do this. I get this in the frame. So here, here, oh wow, that's a good shot. Um, here I am in selfie stick mode and this works pretty well. It gets a, it gives you, far enough extension that I could really do selfie work with this, which if I do uh, remote things, that's I would want that, right? Um, now I, I've adjusted this oddly out of the front camera facing me, but whatever. And uh, this is nice. There's this interesting situation where my other setup will do essentially the same thing, but nothing is as quality as the Movo pieces. As much as I'm kind of bewildered by the fact that I didn't get the exact things I wanted, I just got mostly those things, I'm still okay with it because this stuff is higher quality. And this is the second time I've had, I mean, I got it once in the mail, I returned it all because of that microphone issue, but I like that tripod so much. And I searched all over Amazon for something similar and the grip too. And there were things, but nothing as high quality as these are. And so I was like literally in a place where Movo was the only company that sold what I wanted. And I should just mention that I am an iPhone only YouTuber because the iPhones are so good and the process is so much better than using an actual camera that I don't, I just don't care about it, right? And even, I mean, there's this thing, if I had $3,000 to buy a Canon, like that's not how much you have to spend, but let's say I did, let's say I was just rich. I could buy whatever, like when you spend $5,000, $6,000 to buy a Canon, am I happier? Do I get that better video for that much money? I'm unhappier because it's heavy and I gotta do more work. This is great, you know? Like I could put this in the car and it would not be a big deal. And you'd travel with Canon stuff, like to hold a big deal, DSLR. It's a pain in the butt, right? We don't wanna do that. So anyway, uh, I'm happy that's the end of this video. Let's get this thing, let's get these this tripod out so I can put it down. I know I'm holding this tripod the whole time. That just shows how wonderfully easy it is, right? Oh, this stays up, okay. Even though it's angled down. So actually this, might be good. So the other thing I want is I do food videos and until now I've had this, but I don't shoot B-roll on this or anything. This camera is a little too old, honestly, and I don't really want to use it 
Did you B-roll? Plus, I didn't have a second tripod. I guess if I had a second tripod, maybe I would have. But this type of situation where a second camera is like looking down, I really need an overhead one that shoots down. That's maybe my next purchase. Who knows? But now that I have two of these, I can do that too. I mean, the other one will do it too, so I can use that. Thanks for listening to me. I know I'm this very casual. If you're a YouTuber or someone who's looking into using your phone just to shoot video, listen, all my stuff is on the phone and I'm committed to using the phone because it's just so much easier and more fun, especially for vertical videos. Sometimes older YouTubers like always make jokes like, oh, if you do vertical videos, and it's like, uh, one, you do vertical videos because I've seen you make shorts. And two, everyone needs to make vertical videos to make shorts. Like I'm not being pro TikTok. I'm not being pro YouTube shorts. I'm pro the fact that with a YouTube short, I can, I have one YouTube short that has like a million views, right? So yeah, I make short videos. I have 28,000, <laughs> I have on my Matt Calkins channel, I have 28,000 subscribers on TikTok. So yeah, yeah, I make vertical videos and short videos because you know what we're doing, getting attention here. Um, I mean, I'm assuming you want to make videos because you want some sort of attention for your business or yourself or whatever. And if you need that, you're going to have to make short videos because that's what gets you the attention. And then you make long videos like this for when you really need to explore a topic. If you're just starting up, the way to get bigger is to make short videos and long videos. But you have to make the short ones too, the short vertical videos. So I hope you subscribe or like this video or whatever. And I'll be back with more videos about me making videos. And I have six YouTube channels, so there's a lot, although I'm kind of sticking about four of them at this point. But have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.